Welcome back to North Carolina. Thank you very much. Um, we have heard so much about how you want to move forward yeah. in fighting this virus. Is there a central focus plan now from the president to move forward? Well, I think there really is. A lot of states are doing really well. The South, as you know, and Florida and Texas uh, on the West and California broke out, but they're starting to come down. And I'll tell you, Florida, Arizona, Texas, they're starting to head down, I think soon, rapidly. So we're doing very well there. But what we're really here to tell you the truth are vaccines and therapeutics. Therapeutically, if we can solve a problem, which is sort of like, let's get better. And we are having tremendous success. That's why we're in North Carolina today, because this is a great, a great plant and great scientists. And they're very close to having the vaccine. And when that happens, we're going to distribute it in record time. You probably heard what I just said. It'll be record time. And if we can do that, that'll be a great achievement. So we'll have the vaccine. But we're going to have a vaccine very soon, uh, by the end of the year, maybe even a little sooner than that. And uh, that will be a great achievement. That would have been years ahead of schedule. Mr. President, with the benefit of hindsight, is there anything you would have done differently if you had the past four or five months to relive? Well, the virus is a very tough thing. Every country is suffering. Today, uh, Spain now is reared up again, you probably heard, and a couple of others in Europe are rearing up. It's a very delicate, very contagious thing. Uh, I think the thing I'm happiest about is that I banned China very early when no one said I should. And we kept uh, China out, infected, heavily infected. And we, we put the ban on China. Then we put the ban on Europe. Uh, but it's just this process. It takes a long time. We have to come up with a vaccine. We have to come up with a, uh, a cure, in a, in a sense, a cure. And that's what we're doing therapeutically. I think you're going to be very impressed over the next couple of weeks. And by the end of the year, we'll have the vaccine. Uh, the states have been doing a really good job, many of them, in particular, many of them. And we've had great relationships with the governors. What we have done is we've been able to supply masses, massive amounts of whether it's ventilators or, or swabs or whatever it is ultimately they needed because the cupboards were bare when we took over and now the cupboards are full. So we're sending things down to Florida and various places that need whatever they need. But most of the states are loaded up. You know, I plan to be in Charlotte uh, in a few weeks for yeah. the convention. You referenced today in the briefing that there would still be a part of ha happening in Charlotte. Where will you make your acceptance speech? How will that look? Well, we're just going to be announcing that probably by the end of this week. But all I know is I'll be in North Carolina, and that's a very big deal because we have a lot of the delegates there, and that'll be a nomination process. And that's essentially where the nomination, where it's formalized. And I'm really honored to do it in North Carolina. We won the state. We've had great relationships, whether it's on tobacco or anything else that we're doing. Here we are today. This was a big contract that we gave to a great company in North Carolina. So we've had really great relationships with the state. And so I'm very happy to be back. I'll be back on the Monday just prior to. OK, I just want to make sure I'm clear I didn't misunderstand. You are going to announce where the acceptance speech will be held? Probably by the end of the week or early next week, yes. And you feel good about your chances in North Carolina again? I think so. Uh, the relationships we, we have in North Carolina are, are incredible. I mean, my granddaughter was uh, named Carolina, and that's pretty good. That's a good step. As you know, my daughter-in-law, Laura, is, is from the state. And we've, we did very well uh, in 2016, and they say that we're going to do even better this time. We've done a lot for the state. We've helped the state whether it be through national emergencies where you had some pretty big problems, as you know, over the course of four years, uh, or the tobacco growers we're very close to and we work with them. Uh, we work with everybody in this state. It's been a great relationship. Mr. President, may I ask you, you're one of 45 people in the history of this great country to hold this office. That's right. The past three and a half years, uh, could you have ever imagined it to be what it has been no. in serving this way? No, never. I never thought a thing like this could happen. We won a great race, and now it turned out we were spied on by President Obama and Biden. We were spied on 100 percent. They caught him in the act. They caught a lot of people. Comey, the whole group was caught. 
and we'll see what happens with that. But if you would have thought, and then they do the Russia, Russia, Russia phony stuff, that turned out to be a fraud. The, the uh, Mueller thing was a total disgraceful situation. They say it should have ended on the first day, and it took two, two and a half years. They spent $45 million, and they found absolutely nothing. If you would have told me it would have been this unpleasant in that way, but very pleasant in the fact that nobody's accomplished more in the first three and a half years than I have. And then at the end, after we built the greatest economy in history, we get hit by the, the plague, the plague from China. And we shut it down. We saved millions of lives. Now we're opening up, and we're going to have a tremendous next year. And we're going to have a great third quarter. What can we look forward to in a second Trump term? Well, really just finishing off what we've started. We've done a lot of it, whether it's uh, Space Force or many other things, as you know. But solidifying that, also, uh, we're going to get drug prices way, way down. They're coming way down. We're doing tremendous things on health care, including transparency, which is going to lower the costs tremendously. So I would say some of those things we're going to continue on with much of it we've done. We've rebuilt the military. We've taken care of the VA. The VA now is doing incredible. We have Veterans Choice passed. And accountability, which is a big deal, as you know, veterans accountability, where people don't treat our vets right. We can do things about it now before you couldn't do anything. But veteran choice is very big, where they don't get uh, immediate care, immediate service. They go out, get a doctor, we pay the bill, they get themselves fixed up. So uh, it's, been a, it's been a great three and a half years, but it's been very unfair. It's been very unfair. A lot of phony uh, witch hunts, and it's, uh, it's made it less fun. But I'm not sure I could have done any more because we've really done a lot. We've done, I think, more than any administration has ever done in the first three and a half years. And nobody even challenges that. Mr. President, um, one last thing. Yes. And my daughter asked that I ask this question. Go today. ahead. Uh, she's a young person looking to the future to encourage Americans. And I heard a little of this in the uh, briefing earlier. Yes. Uh, as we are so divided today, what is your message to all Americans? Success is going to bring us together. It was doing it before. We had the best unemployment rates we've ever had and employment rates. We had 160 million people almost working. That's far more than we ever had before. Whether it be uh, black unemployment, African-American, any, anything you look at, uh, Hispanic-American, Asian-American, uh, the unemployment rates were the best in our nation's history. Every single, the stock market, uh, finances, homes, home values, home equity, every single metric was at the top. Uh, women were in the best shape we've ever been in from the employment standpoint and from a wage standpoint. With all of that, things were really starting to come together. Then we got hit with the virus, and we had to close it to save millions of lives. We opened it. Tell your daughter we have a tremendous future. I think that next year we're going to have the best year we've ever had, and it's, it's heading in that direction, especially if we come up with therapeutics and a vaccine, which we're doing. That's why I'm in North Carolina today. Mr. President, thank you so thank much you for your much. time. Thank you very much. Very much, sir. Daughter. All the best to you, sir. Thank you. And to your much. family. Very nice. Thank you.